A powerful uh, summer storm tearing through Miles City last night. It toppled trees. It damaged a lot of property, leaving many without power. And while there were no, thankfully, tornadoes recorded, wind gusts reached up to 72 miles per hour. The extremely powerful winds are evident. Traffic lights and street lamps flickering, power outages sweeping across the city. Uh, an interesting blend of conditions. More, of course, could be on our way. And that extreme weather brought out our Ren Wadsworth today. She has our coverage tonight from the home of the Cowboys. Downtown in Miles City, you can travel down any street and see the damage caused over the weekend by substantial winds. Trees have been uprooted and broken, cars and buildings destroyed. And while we don't know exact stats on the storm, we do know it was an occurrence that brought the Miles City community together. People came from their houses to see the damage done and how they could help. It was a true story of neighbor helping neighbor when it was needed. I figured I'd come out. I seen all the devastation out here and I know there's a lot of kids that come to this park and stuff. I grew up in this place. I used to come to this park too. And I just said, heck, I might as well just go out and get me a chainsaw, I'll come back and just try to knock some of this, cut it down as much as I could. I figured that if, I, if I'm in here and other people see me in here, you know, maybe they'll pitch in, come in here and help clean up. And it was this effort that has much of the town cleared up after such a massive hit. And as the cleanup continues, it will be done with all of the Miles City community together. Ren Wadsworth, Nonstop Local. Ren, thank you very much.